on the mound for the Angels here. The Angels closer. You take a look at what he did last year. No team in baseball was better after eight innings with the lead than the Angels were. And you can thank Rysel Iglesias for that. Back with the Halos on a four-year deal. And here he is. The bottom of the fourth inning with the Angels on top 4-1. Gets the Diamondbacks first pitch, gets laced up the middle, fresh into the ball game. Magnuri Sierra goes after that one in center field. We'll toss it back in. We'll get to the changes in a moment. And a leadoff double for Christian Walker here in the fourth. Up by Sella Glacius. One of the differences here, obviously, Trent in spring training is when your closer comes on the road or is his, it's his day to get up that day, you want to get in the game immediately. So watching the starter, Jansen Junk, go three innings was a nice opportunity for Joe Madden to get Iglesias into a fresh inning, get him in this game early, get his working, get him back to the complex. Get him back to the complex. New second baseman in the game for the Angels is Andrew Velasquez. And behind the dish, that's Chad Wall. Placing Kurt Suzuki. Carson Kelly. Down at Banks catcher. Fouls this one back. There's Velasquez from the Yankees. From the Bronx initially. Loved his time in New York. They loved him. As there's Chad Wallach, a Southern California product. Had a chance to talk with uh, Chad earlier today. You know, he and I went to high school there. Chad Wallach. Hadn't seen him since then. Good to see that. Came over the Angels, second part of the last season. There's Sierra, fresh into the ball game. Gets tested on the very first pitch as he's welcomed back in. Placing Joe Adele out there. Brandon Marsh stays in left. Taylor Ward stays in right. Adele got his three at-bats. Comes the 0-2 to Kelly. Runs inside. Did that clip him? Might have. Did not. Tried to sell. Strike three. See what we got. Looks like his ball hits his bat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Yep. And it winds up hitting his back. Kelly tries to sell it. Bill Miller is not buying it. I always felt like, and this is one thing I really love about the difference in the big leagues and the minor leagues and umpires. Umpires in the big leagues, they just let the play happen. So as that play goes on, Bill Miller's like, wait, let's see. If that ball really did hit him, he would have dropped his bat and gone to first. But he didn't. Tried to sell it. Not biting. A little punch out right there for Iglesias. Another one runs inside, catches the corner of Luplo. Nothing in one. And we'll see what Rysel Iglesias can do. Working out of some trouble, giving up a leadoff double. It's Christian Walker is over at second base right now with one out. Luplo flew out to left his first time up. Oh, one pitch. That's nothing in two. Trent, I always felt like it was different in spring training when the closer comes in immediately, right? So he's not closing the game. The first guy gets up there, ambushes the first pitch, and now, like, like in this situation, Iglesias, he's like, oh, okay, you guys want to ambush? We dropped a slider on you. Let me be really dirty to start the at bat. Like, oh, cool, let's just get up there and ambush. No, not having it at all. That's when he really gets, starts to execute these pitches. 0-2, got him. Wallach picks it up. Toss to Walsh. There's a strikeout for Rysel Iglesias. Back to back for Iggy. Two seamer. Really good pitch right there. Down below the zone. Back to back punch outs. But that smile for Rysel Iglesias. Infectious. So after giving up that leadoff double in the first pitch to Walker. A three-pitch strikeout of Carson Kelly, backed up by a three-pitch strikeout of Jordan Luplo. Wasn't about to let any other other of these Diamondback hitters come up and ambush him. Van Meter. One and oh. You know what I love, too, about I saw Iglesias this year is, you know he's pitching the ninth inning, and he knows that he doesn't have to worry about coming in in the eighth and trying to get a six-out save or a four-out save. The Angels have enough bullpen options. And on a four-year contract, the Angels now got to protect Rysel Iglesias for a variety of reasons. Yeah. And they're going to do that by limiting him to just one inning of work this year, which is the role I think everyone wanted it to have last season. But based on necessity, Rysel Iglesias was effectively the Angels' setup man and their closer. 
last year? Well, obviously, I think that's the plan, especially to start the season. Now, depending on how fresh he is at the end of the season, sure, he'll be able to go in September a little bit longer if they need him. Big hack there by Van Meter to strike. Two and one. Yeah, I mean, if you're in a tight pennant race, you're in a close game, second week of September, and you need Iglesias to go get you an extra out, yeah, you got to imagine they'll do that. But the Angels have not had the luxury of bullpen depth for a number of years, and that is something Perry Manassian has put a big emphasis on in building that. Treats the bullpen like it's an everyday player. And the Angels have one of the best in baseball. Two and two. Closers pitch at the end of the game because of their stuff. One, it's the stuff that gets them back there. But two, the short-term memory. Iglesias doing a really good job this inning of having that short-term memory as Walker hits a leadoff double. He gets strikeouts. Looking to get out of this inning with maybe potentially another strikeout. So after the leadoff double, Iglesias trying to slam the door. Here he goes. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball hit over to Velasquez. Welcome to the ball game. Toss to Walsh, and there you go. The leadoff double, no problem for Rysel Iglesias. After that, three up, three down. Angels, a 4-1 lead, head to the fifth.